here to speak on it. All right, y'all. Last week, I went to support a friend who, you know, had had someone transition, gone on to meet the Lord, or we all so hope. Um, but when you really think about it, family gets the most ridiculous during the time of a funeral. Sometimes you think that that is the very thing that is going to bond people together, keep them together, you know, everybody be civilized, but really seem like all the Hellcats come out around that time. Everybody want to know, well, who she left that couch to? Oh no, she, she would have wanted me to have that couch because I came by every Saturday and sat on that couch with her. It's so many times where the people who did nothing for grandma did nothing for auntie, did nothing for granddaddy and uncle or whomever else the case is. They did nothing for them, but they feel like they have rights to everything. And I'm bringing this message for this. A lot of y'all, of course, felt the everybody ain't meant to be in your life family or not. So this is something to follow up. And especially because of the recent tragedy that happened with my friend. Listen, y'all need to get y'all some wills, okay? As you get your insurance policy and everything, you need to will off with what's going to be done with you, your body, uh, down to your car. Who going to get your, I don't know, elephant should leave in your house or whatever it is that y'all do nowadays. You have to get you a will because them cousins, you don't talk to your sister now. You think you're going to want your sister to be ahead of your body? Some of y'all married to y'all husband and y'all know that your family going to give your husband hell when it come time to bury you. You don't want no open casket. You don't take pictures with these people while you alive. Now, what make you think that you're going to want all your pictures all over social media? R.I.P. My sister gained her wings, but you never talked to your sister while she was alive. You never went and checked on that girl. Some of y'all for grandparents out there too, older women. I know older people follow this page, so this is something. If you are in your right mind and health, go ahead and make that preparation. Don't leave your stuff undone, because it's hell. Once you going on and you at peace, it's hell here on earth. Trying to figure out what's going to happen to grandma's stuff, what's going to happen to Uncle Leroy's stuff. Because everybody come out the woodwork. Who going to get his classic car? Who gonna get his domino collection? Me put just the craziest things. Who gonna get her pots? I, I want them pots. I'm telling you, people get stupid over the craziest things. It's real out here, y'all. Don't allow your stuff to just be undone. They can't supersede law. Put that thing in black and white. And as I'm on here too, GoFundMe accounts is not life insurance. Don't leave that to people. We trying to get up these $4,000. We ain't want to have them cremated, but we had to do what we had to do. Get your business straight. Get your life in order. Because honestly, when you go, go find me accounts are for extreme tragedies. People using that stuff just as a come up nowadays. No. Go get your, your business straight. Jesus even said, right division, make it plain. Plan out your stuff. If I ain't talked to you here on earth, now in my afterlife, don't you be trying to be over my body. I'm going to make sure that whoever's around me, it don't have to be nobody blood to you. You make sure you get those copies, put them in safe deposits, make sure that your insurance agent has a copy of the will and everything else. I'm just dropping facts for y'all because we don't want no hell when y'all be going on the transition with the Lord. Love y'all much.